Hello, Just Too Good here. Today we're taking a look at the LEGO Spider-Man 2 Cafe Attack 4 Plus set. Now this has 132 pieces, retails for $30 in the United States with three max figures, I guess you'd call them. And this released back in 2004. So let's take a look at a set based off of one of my favorite superhero movies, which is Sealed. I think at the bottom it's a little bit open, but uh, previously unopened for the most part. Oops, just tore that. And that's just about all of the pieces in the box. Also, the instructions, some loose pieces. It's pieces time. Here's the set all built up. Now let's take a look at those Max, Mini, whatever the heck figures you want to call them. So here's Spider-Man and the design of this. If you don't know how these work, they're all one piece. You can't remove anything. It works a lot like a Lego minifigure where you can have them sit down. They do attach to some studs at the back. Uh, that one actually didn't attach pretty well, but you can attach it to three separate studs sitting down. The torsos have the arms attached, which the arms are a little bit longer as well. They have fingers for the hands, which you can't remove. And this head right here can be moved side to side like a Lego minifigure. You can even move it 360 degree. No stud at the top or anything. Very interesting system that they started with Jack Stone and ended around this time with the 4 Plus sets. I remember they had 4 Plus Pirate sets and a lot of City sets as well. But that's it for the Spider-Man. And here is Doc Ock, which the design of this uses some really elaborate arms there. The, the, the tentacles, which are a very specialized piece. Uh, they're two separate pieces. They attach this Technic pin at the back, which is kind of interesting that Doc Ock has a Technic pin at the back. It's a modified version of the regular 4 Plus figure. It doesn't have a flat back like, say, Spider-Man does. But other than that, uh, the figure doesn't look bad. I mean, it looks like Doc Ock from the movie. Maybe a little bit older than he should look, but uh, not too much else going on here. And him and Spider-Man come in the other 4 Plus Spider-Man set. And it's Peter Parker, which this is Tobey Maguire Peter Parker, and it doesn't look like Tobey Maguire, and as LEGO has proven this year, they kind of suck at making Peter Parkers accurate to the actors that portray them. <laughs> but this is, like, kind of hilariously bad. I, I really like how this came out. It actually looks a bit like the Peter Parker that was released this year for Tom Holland. Like, that hair is very similar. <laughs> so for the build of this set, let's first take a look at the most interesting part, the deli. So for the cafe slash deli build, the design of this is really a facade for the front. Once you take a look inside, there's not really much else going on. This whole area here, it doesn't even have a platform for many figures to stand on. There's some designs at this uh, right side here, but uh, at the left, you do have a little seating area, which actually has two Fabuland chairs in blue and also a little table with uh, two cups there. Also, some really interesting pieces are found throughout this set since this is a 4 Plus set, and I'm not too familiar with them. This part here, which is almost like a plate, but has a little mesh at the bottom, which is quite interesting. Uh, the actual platforms here are also very interesting, almost like prototypes of the platforms we get for juniors nowadays, except they're a lot bulkier and thicker than the platforms nowadays. This piece right here is weird. It's like a frame, but it slides into these columns here. And this frame just rests on top of studs. It doesn't actually connect to studs. Inside there is a door and this door piece opens easily. Very nice printing on these two though. I like that. I like how it even has like the little hours. And over here, very nice printing on this piece, which is also very similar where it slides in to these columns. But right above that is a play feature of the set, which if this clock is pulled out, which is on a Technic axle, you could ram any of the cars in this set, which we'll take a look at in a little bit, into it, and everything falls out. Uh, these two parts are collapsing, and these columns at the top fall off, and then this big panel here falls off, which does have a nice 2x2 two two print on there. It's not exclusive to the set, but it's still pretty useful. Finally, at the top of the cafe, there's a web string and also this web right there. The two cars of this set is a taxi, which, yeah, this looks nothing like a taxi, but, you know, you under guys understand that this is a 4-plus set, so they wanted to make something more appealing to kids, so it's more like a race car, and the design at the back has a nice printed piece that only ever came in this set, so that's kind of interesting with the taxi sign, which was a little bit more centered, though. And inside, you have enough space to fit one of those big figures, and there's this new, or, or new to me, because this was used a lot in the 4-plus range, and it's this weird two by two brick with a little pole connection at the end. 
So it's kind of like a steering wheel base. I haven't ever seen that before. Again, I'm kind of new to four plus sets. There's also some interesting Technic pin modifications like this piece right there, this piece at the front, and you also get another one on this side. So just using some interesting, simpler pieces that I'm not familiar with with this taxi. And the last build of the set, the car that Doc Ock throws into the cafe, does use some more interesting pieces as well with this wing right here, which attaches via Technic pins and also this separate guard piece, which is different from the one in the other car. There's enough space to fit a minifigure in there, so you could even have Doc Ock and Spider-Man race, but that doesn't really make too much sense. We already took a look at the box in the beginning, but uh, just a better look at the back. It says one, two, three, go. The instructions are fairly short. At the end, there's an alternate build of this little racing rally, it looks like, also a win design and an ad for all the other Spider-Man 2 sets, which you even have the, the minifigure sets and those two 4 Plus sets. I have this one, I had that one back in the day, reviewed that one recently. Don't think I have that one. Definitely don't have that one and definitely don't have that one. These two I've always wanted, uh, but really getting nostalgic to see it here. So overall, this is definitely a product of its time. I mean, this is a junior set, so everything is a lot simpler, and that cafe build is not terrible, but not really anything too interesting. I mean, the play feature is kind of cool. There's some nice prints on it, but at the end of the day, it is a junior's build. And the design of the figures, yeah, I'm not a fan of them, but they are funny in a bad way. Like that Peter Parker doesn't look anything like Tobey Maguire. As a whole, I mean, it was interesting to take a look at this for sure. So what do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.